Uh, I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakuya and me. Anyway, he called the meetings, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? Hi, Sakuya. So you had this done? Hmm. This room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. Have you decided which position you will take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? <laughs> Aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me. I am French. A French noble bird? That sounds delicious. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... Vice President? <laughs> you wish to be my right wing? Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> You've got nerve. I like that. I think I just got bonded with. Gosh, she looks pretty happy right now. And so I became Vice President of the Student Council. There's something of a crowd around our cheerleaders. I see Sakuya and a brass band. That's how we're doing it. I think I saw something similar during the char changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace. You're here. You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a labelle. Sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your orders, sir. Very well. Begin. And so the band began to play. Where did he get these people? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You, join in. Um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. One wrong slip and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes. Sakuya's conducting is awfully flashy. Is this the LaBelle style? Hello, every bur- Huh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves under wings and bellies are light, so they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? O Oko-san and Sakuya are- I look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident on our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakaya was making fun of Oko-san. He called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding and said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible. I mean, Oko-san is a nutcase, and I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Either way, Oko-san kind of went for the jugular and You tried to pull them apart, and Oko-san used wing attack on you. Y yep you're our only hope now, Pixel. <gasps> cool, cool. Oko-san will not apolo sorry, will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word, I shall not. A mongrel like you hasn't even the right to speak to me. Cool, Oko-san is not a mongrel. The battle still rages, and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Yes. Oko-san, settle down. This is a classroom. Cool, this is a matter between doves. Stay out of it, Pixel. You are a credit to your simian ancestry, precious. I respect your judgment. Cool. I catch Oko-san and throw him out the window. <laughs> Just because you're angry doesn't mean you can't make a mess. Come excuse me. Come back in when you're prepared to be civilized. Oh, I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window- Hold on. Are you telling me to do all that by myself? Who else is there? You, bonehead. <laughs> Maybe I should stand up to him. <laughs> you help too. Sakuya, I'm the vice president, not the chair woman. Char woman. <laughs> is that so? My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up. That's why I'm giving you orders. No, geez, that's not what I. Here's a mop. Work. I... you... what? You know how to use it, right? Let's get started. Don't tell me you've never... Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. And so Sakya reluctantly helped me clean. I thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. 
Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. You know what I think? I think he is bossed around at home and he has no power at home. So he does it at school. Sakuya. Right? Yes. Sakuya, over here. You've got nerve to call me out during vacation. What is it? Oh, right. You just moved here, so you wouldn't have known. Today's the festival. Let's go together. Festival? What's that? You'll understand when you see it. Come on. W what in the... Shops, food, good fun all around. People can't possibly be eating food prepared like this. It's... It's... Unsanitary. It's madness. Don't worry, there haven't been any reports of food poisoning for two years. So there were <laughs> so there were reports three years ago? Yep. Guiding the panic stricken Sakuya around the festival is a little troublesome, but hilarious nonetheless. And so the night wears on. Huh? When did you buy that candy apple, Sakuya? They had an interesting color, so I thought I would buy one. I'm not going to eat it. I shall take it home and mount in a case. Isn't 2-4 doing a haunted house? I'm well known for my reckless nature, so maybe I'll go and scream a little bit. I think Saki is free today too, isn't he? Maybe I should invite him along. Invite him. Sakuya, do you need something? You're free today, right? Want to go look at 2-4's haunted house? Haunted house? A waste of time. Nothing but a foolish charade of commoners by commoners and for commoners. How do you know if you don't go? And besides, isn't keeping an eye on the masses part of a noble bird's job? Er, I suppose it might have some value. Since I have no other pressing matters to which I must attend, I shall accompany you. What is this madness? A haunted mansion. What on earth is that? Will we be attacked by hostile ninjas? No, that would be a ninja mansion. <laughs> but my nurse told me that any mansion is bound to have ninjas lying in wait inside. <laughs> It's like a tiny theme park with a ghost theme, hence haunted. How foolish. No doubt it has nothing but tricks to scare mere children. We shall enter. Oh, hey, wait. Uh-oh. <laughs> what trickery is this? I, I can't see. Why is it dark in here? Oh, right, you can't see in the dark, can you? Ah, oh, I stepped on something nasty. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, stop, unhand me. Ah! Sakia, calm down. No, you're not supposed to kick the cor the poor ghost. <laughs> Let me go. I've never seen him this worked up before. Anyway, I'm glad he enjoyed it, I think. Let's see. Music class was fun today. Solo tests always make me nervous, but they can be fun too. I sang well today. We have physics next, right? Huh? Sakuya is standing in the music room, staring at the instrument rack. What's wrong, Sakuya? What do you think of the arts, Miss Precious? The arts? <sighs> the arts? Where did that come from? Surely one such as yourself has an opinion on some kind. What do you think of the arts? Um, well, I'm not really sure it's something I could put into words just like that. Dostoevsky once said that an artist is a man who turns his ears inward and writes down with zeal what he hears. Such a common idea. He looks angst-ridden. I wonder if something happened. Finally done with cleaning. Time to go home. Hmm? I can hear somebody playing the piano in the music room at the end of the hall. Who? I think I'll... Go look. I can see somebody sitting at the piano through the door. I recognize him. It's... Sakuya? How long have you been there? Were you spying on me? How unpleasant. No, I just came over here. It sounded beautiful. I never knew you could play. I'm amazed you can practice and still study enough to get such good grades, Sakuya. Of course, a noble must be versed in all fields, though I doubt one such as you can understand the art. It sounded wonderful. Hmm. Oh, I'm distracting you. Sorry, I'll go now, so don't mind me. Precious. Huh? What do you love? Why this all of a sudden? Tell me. Hmm? Udon, I guess. Me too! The real me also loves udon. Udon? Truly? Yep, I eat it every day. I see. I see. Thank you. 
Okay, bye, Sakuya. And so I left him sitting deep in thought. What was that all about? Oh, it's winter break. The year's almost over. For some reason, that makes me sad. Oh, I got a letter and a fancy envelope. Who's it from? We are holding a Christmas party at the LaBelle Mansion on the 24th of this month. You are invited. Be honored. Sakuya LaBelle Shirokan. Ooh. Yay, I got a heartwarming invitation. My family's Buddhist, so I hadn't had anything planned. I might as well go, right? I think I'll... Go to the party. My character talks about... Talks about a family. But nobody lives in with... Sorry, nobody lives with me in the cave. <laughs> Whoa, it's like a palace. Ho ho ho. What do you think, precious? Normally a commoner such as yourself would never set foot in here. It, it's amazing, Sakuya. This whole thing is far removed from my own uncultured Stone Age lifestyle. I feel a little nervous. Do you have a party like this every year? Every year? Don't be foolish. We have one every month. Creating a habitat for social discourse is a noble's duty, after all. That seems a little tiresome. Are you feeling overwhelmed already? Poor, foolish, comma. <sighs> That's... Cool. This establishment lacks pudding. Oko, you dog. Why are you here? I never invited you. Cool. Oko-san sensed the feast and came in through the window, but there's no pudding. I wouldn't give any to you even if I did have some. Confound you, you genetic throwback. Oko-san's going to go berserk at this rate. I think I should... Stop him. Oko-san, inside voice. Well done, precious. Now throw him outside. <laughs> cool. I am grateful to you, precious. Now we can have our party in peace. No need to thank me. I would hire you as a bodyguard if ever you so desired. Um... <laughs> I guess because it's in trend. Hmm. I'll take these. Yada yada yada. Sakuya, I am busy. May I ask you not to waste too much of my time? <laughs> this will only take a minute. I have something for you. Here. What are these? It's a pricey blend of beans. I know you like expensive things. Oh, right, because the sales lady was saying that they're kind of pricey. I forgot about that. This is not what I meant. Why are you giving me beans? It's legumentines. And what is that? What planet are you from, anyway? It's a holiday where girls are supposed to give beans to the boys they like. What? <laughs> Don't look so disturbed. Jeez, I gave you those. Will you accept them, Sakuya? Hmm. These beans seem somewhat cheap for their illustrious recipient, but since you ask it, I will not refuse them. Really? Yay! What did you mean by like? I am asking what you meant by the boys they like. Um, exactly what I said. No matter what I'm doing or where I am, your beautiful plumage always comes to mind, Sakuya. Um... Anyway, here. I hope we can continue to get along. Indeed. He glances at the beans and then at me, and then wordlessly leaves. I'm glad he liked them. He did like them, right? Oh, oh look. I'm starting to think I should build a wall, or maybe dig myself a new bedroom. With this kind of weather, some birds are even collapsing in the street. Hey, wait. Isn't that when Sakuya? S Sakuya, what's wrong? D don't ask for the details. Just carry me to your miserable abode. I beg of you. Wandering around and collapsing in the street at this time of night doesn't seem like customary practice for an aristocrat. What's happened, Sakuya? Don't tell me your family has fallen from high society. What happened? I shall not say. E, what were you doing wandering around in the wilderness then? I was not wandering. I, I was on my way here. Be honored. Oh, so this isn't a coincidence after all. Do you want something from me then? No, don't flatter yourself. Eh? Um, should we call your family or something? No. He looks really angry. Listen, don't you dare. Don't you dare call my house. Sakaya, did you wander away from home? That sounds bad. No, I simply left on my own volition. Um, isn't that the same thing? Yep. What happened, Sakuya? Precious, do you remember when we talked in the music room at school last fall? Yes. What about it? Do you remember what I asked you then? 
You asked me what? Asked me what I loved. You asked me what I loved. That's right. And you give a simple, honest answer right away. And that, that, that made me jealous. Did I miss here? That's the last thing I'd have expected from him, of all people. I don't understand, Sakuya. Why? I... I'm one of the few of the pure bloodline. I am ranked higher than any of my siblings. I have been slated to become the next family head since birth. There is no reason I shouldn't be. But... You don't want to take your father's place? H how did you know that? It's obvious. It's written all over your face. I love music, but my father does not approve. When I was young, I owned a number of instruments, but he had them all thrown away. Art is not our realm. The joy of creation is the domain of peasants. Our role is to be patrons and promoters of the artists we admire, not to be artists ourselves. A noble who sows his own wheat is a fool. That's not true. I think anyone who can play music should be encouraged, no matter who their parents are. That is because you think with a peasant's values. My world is different from yours. I'm not talking about what peasants think. I'm thinking... Sorry. I'm talking about what I think. What about you, Sakuya? What do you think? What do... I think? You speak in riddles. I carry the name of Labelle. To play at applying my own standards and ideas to the world would be a disgrace. But didn't you just say you left the mansion of your own accord? Isn't that applying your own idea to the world? Hmm. You've contradicted yourself. What do you want to do in life, Sakuya? I must succeed my father as the next family head. No, geez, that's not what I meant. What if you could forget about the LaBelle family and do anything in the world? What would you do then? Forget about the LaBelle family? What mockery is this? We're speaking hypothetically, dummy. If I could do anything in the world, I would continue studying music. I would like to see how far I could go as a musician. He sounds uncharacteristically modest. I was half expecting him to give some rambling speech about how he would unite the world and become king or something. You love music, don't you? If I could hear you play the piano again, I would be very happy, Sakuya. I think you'd answered, you've answered your own question. Answered my own question? Don't be ridiculous. This is a mere fantasy. I have no connection to reality. Have you told your father that you want to continue studying music? Don't be ridiculous. How could I lower myself so? <laughs> so you haven't even asked him about it. You wouldn't be lowering yourself, Sakuya. Are you ashamed to love music? Hmm. You should ask him. It's worth a try, right? Perhaps you're right. I suppose I never would have thought of that if I hadn't talked to you. You were confused about what you wanted, Sakuya. I just gave you a little push. Precious. Yes? I'm going to speak with him when I return. If, you're, if he refuses, would... Would you carry my fallen body to safety one more time? Are you planning to run away for real next time? If it comes to that. I will follow you anywhere you need to go, Sakuya. You will always have a safe place here, okay? I shall return to you. Thank you, precious. And so he set out across the wilderness once more. I don't know if his father will accept him, or if he really will run away, but I know he will come back to me, and I pray that our future will be a happy one. Wake up, Sakuya. Silence. The hall of your father's has many lumps and sharp rocks. Precious. Jeez, what are you complaining about? I even got you some straw. Which is to say, I did the best I could for a freeloader. Here, I made breakfast. Your first concert is today, so you need to get ready. Hmm. He didn't complain about the food. That's an improvement. Um, by the way, what is it? Have you contacted Yuya? You must be joking. I thought so. I have his address. Should I tell him about you? We need not worry him. I have no intention of asking favors of him. I didn't mean... Anyway, let it be. Things are fine as they are. I guess he's still a little chilly about Yuya. Maybe it's still too early. Let us go, precious. Okay. I'm confused. Two pixel. Salutations. I trust you are well. A little bird told me you've been taking care of Sakuya. He's a pain, but I know you'll be able to handle him just fine. I have something to tell him. Something very important. Something I've been meaning to tell him his entire life. Since you're... Well, I guess I'm still a little unsure myself. If he ever says he wants to see me, I'll think it over. When that time comes, let me know, okay? I'll keep in touch. Adio! S Sakazaki Yuya. Hey! 
Yay! He didn't even told he didn't even tell me that he loved me. We're just living together. This is nope. Not satisfactory. The other two were better. Much better. 